Bryce from Sunlight and we have got some exciting news for you today. But first, let me explain. You see, Sunlight is so much more than just a week at summer camp. This place is home. This is home! And we want you to take everything that you've learned here about yourself, about others, about the world, and take that with you wherever you go. So come with me, I've got something to show you. So there's this sign that hangs above you as you leave camp and it says, continue in what you have learned. Learn. Continue in what you have. Gwen, come here. I'm gonna hold this up and then you point it continue. Can you do that? No, you gotta point it. Continue in what you have. Learned. Anyway, you get what I mean. It's from 2 Timothy 3.14. We're not making this stuff up. It's in the Bible. Well, would you look at that? It's simply a reminder from Paul to Timothy to say, hey, look, you know what you're doing. You know how to be a Christian. You know how to live this life. Just continue doing it wherever you go. And that's our reminder to you too. It's the same one that Paul's giving to Timothy, saying, hey, once you've left this place, keep doing the things that you're doing. Don't stop. So my exciting news for you today is that we are starting this vlog. We're starting a vlog! To help you continue in all those things, all the ways that God has spoken to you and, 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 and that you've seen him here out wherever you are. And the reason why we're doing that is because all the things that make sunlight so special and unique are exactly the same ways that make God so special and unique. And so today we've got five ways in which you can take sunlight with you wherever you go. So number one is unplug. At camp, we intentionally unplug from all those different distractions and things so that we can connect with the people around us and connect with God. It means you don't have to unplug from everything all the time. It would be impossible to not have electronics with you. Just unplug for an hour, two hours, and just take some intentional time away from it. Number two is eat food with other people. There's just something magical about gathering together and having silly conversations and serious conversations and life-changing conversations around a table and part of that is unplugging and putting your phone away so that you can have a face-to-face -face conversation with somebody without the distraction of bzz, bzz. boing 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 pew, 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 pew. okay number three is you gotta get up and dance <laughs> do whatever you can just to bleh, let out all your creativity. Whatever it is that you use to express how you're feeling, like go do that. You don't, it doesn't have to be dancing. It could be drawing, it could be writing, it could be any of those things. That's what we love to do at camp is, is just create moments where we can express ourselves freely without judgment from the rest of the world. Whatever that thing is, just go be you and go do it. Who cares what other people think? Okay, number four is get outside. Go out into the sunshine and soak up that vitamin D. Don't, don't be inside, it's, it's smelly and gross in there. God created the outside for us to go play and enjoy in. So number five and most important of all is pray every single day. God so badly wants a relationship with you. And in order to have a relationship with someone, you gotta talk both ways. It'd be really awkward if you just talk to yourself all day. One thing that's really stuck with me is that Anxiety is when you talk to yourself, but prayer is when you talk to God. It starts with a, with a hey God, or a dear Father, or, or our Lord. And, and you just talk, you just let out what's in your heart and what's in your mind, and you don't stop. It's something that can be done every day. And one way that you can hear God respond to you, because he's not always going to be this big booming voice coming down from the heavens, he's written this book. It says that his word is sharper than any two-edged sword, that it is living and it is active, and that 
by reading it, you will be changed. A challenge to you is to pray every day and read your Bible every day. Anyway, that wraps up our five ways in which you can take sunlight with you wherever you go. What is something that you have taken with you out into the world that you learned at camp? Please comment it below. We'd love to hear whatever that thing is. If you liked this video, please subscribe below. It lets us know that you want more of this coming to you right away. It'll come in a notification form in one of those beeps and boops and bops. And boing, boing, boing. If you also like this video, hit the thumbs up. It lets us know that you liked it. If you didn't like it, hit the thumbs down and we can try to work on making this better. Vaya con Dios, amigos. But seriously, like, go get up and, and go have a dance party. <laughs>